Welcome to State of Tech Family. My name is Jared Hill, and today we're going to talk about Instagram. Now, Instagram is a fantastic photo sharing application social network that uh, your kids, maybe even yourself, are using. However, there's one feature that you probably need to be aware of on uh, Instagram, and that is the ability to geotag photos. Now, by default, what Instagram is going to do when you take a picture is it's going to record the GPS data uh, to that image. And uh, what that allows it to do is add the photo to a map. So if you were to actually access that photo, you could pull the GPS data from that and find the exact location where that photo was taken. So what I've been recommending is that you actually just disable this feature because for most people it's a feature that they don't really care about, having uh, the GPS data embedded in the photo. And if you're a parent, I recommend turning that off because uh, having that GPS data enabled um, allows people, if somebody was able to access you know, most of the photos uh, from your child's phone, they would know the places that your child uh, hangs out, maybe even where you live, um, where their school is, all sorts of things, wherever they're taking and posting Instagram photos, that GPS data is being embedded. So we're going to go and take a look at how to disable the um, uh, location services for Instagram. Now we're also creating videos for other apps that do this as well. So if you're interested in learning how to uh, disable those services for other apps such as Facebook, um, you can check out those videos. However, it's pretty much the same process for disabling location services on any of the apps. And you can even do it for the entire phone, but then that disables uh, the Maps application which allows you to get driving directions and all of that stuff. So I recommend actually shutting down location services specifically for apps. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. All right, so we're gonna take a look at disabling location services in Instagram. So you're gonna go into your settings, and now this is gonna look the same pretty much on iPhone, iPod, and iPad. Um, you may see some different settings up here on the top, but you're gonna to need to go down to general, and then scroll down to restrictions. Now, restrictions may be turned off right now. If it is not, um, you will have to enter a password uh, after you enable the restrictions. Um, at, but if, in, if restrictions are enabled already, you're gonna have to enter a password right away. So when you enable restrictions, it's gonna ask you to enter a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set up a password. Please make your password more secure than the one you just saw flash before you. Um, now, uh, scroll down a bit until you get to privacy and location services. Tap on location services and then scroll down again and you're going to see a list of all the apps that are on the device that you're holding that have some sort of location services available. Now, you can see that most of these, they're, they're all turned on except for one of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn off Instagram and then we'll back out of... Uh, of the app and go back to the beginning. Now, if we were to open Instagram, so I'm just going to um, open Instagram, just like so. Instagram's gonna work the same. There isn't gonna be any changes to anything. You can see we've got Instagram loading and working as normal. I'm gonna tap on the camera button to open up the camera. And you can see here now um, the camera is running and it will even let me take a picture. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll just take a picture. Here's me. And we took a picture and I'll go ahead and hit next. Now, um, everything is working the same so far. There's absolutely no indication that anything has been changed, uh, except for when I choose Add to Photo Map and then hit Name This Location. It's going to try and search for location, and it's going to be unable to, and it's going to say, this feature requires location authorization. Please go and enable it. And, uh, of course, they won't be able to because the privacy settings were set and it's behind a password. So um, what this is going to do is protect your photos from being added to, um, to a map. And by default, most people and their photos are available 
on a map. Um, for example, here I'm looking at photos for Daily App Show, one of the websites that we run. And if I was to click on this map icon, um, it opens up and shows, uh, well, I'll hit, okay, I understand, but, um, and I'll hit done here and it's going to go ahead and uh, add these photos to my map. Um, because I had never enabled this service in the first place. But what it's going to go ahead and do is add the GPS data from all of these photos to a map. And then whenever somebody views one of these photos, they're going to be able to view on the map where they were. So um, when I go uh, over here into the U.S. and I scroll in and tap, I can see all of these photos and their exact location on the map. As I scroll in, you can see... Um, most of them are here in Modesto. Some of them were over there in the Bay Area. And as I scroll in even deeper and deeper, I could see the exact location of where these photos were taken. You can see here exactly where we're located. And here are most of those photos um, right here in that location. So that's the feature that we're trying to block is the ability for those photos to be viewed on a map like that. And people would be able to pinpoint where those photos were taken and maybe even predict where, um, you know, where somebody would be. And that's bad news if you have a kid that uses these apps. There's absolutely no reason that really a person needs to be able to add these photos to the map unless you want to be able to go back and see by location where your photos were taken. And I, for me, I don't really feel that there's a, as much of a trade-off there. I don't need my photos to be uh, you know, geographically pinned down to a location. So that's how you turn off that feature in Instagram. Alternatively, you can also turn off the feature the same way for many other apps, as you saw when we were in the settings tab. Um, and under restrictions, it showed all of the apps that included uh, privacy, I mean, location settings, and you can toggle off any of these apps that you feel do you do not want using those services i would leave maps turned on so that you can access maps and use navigation and all that stuff that's a good feature to have on these uh types of devices but maybe some of these other ones you just go ahead and turn that off just to protect uh from location being enabled and sent to who knows where so that's how you do that. You can check out other videos that we've produced for these uh, fun little devices for parents at um, our State of Tech family website, which is family.stateoftech.net. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.